It was hard to hear that Wendy Williams is suffering from frontotemporal dementia, the same kind that Bruce Willis is. And she's only 59 years old. She had to stop production of her show two years ago because of her early signs of frontotemporal dementia, which was in this case, aphasia. Now aphasia is finding the right word, which we all have sometimes difficulty doing, but it can become constant and more difficult. And that is an early sign of a brain problem. Frontotemporal dementia has to do with the frontal part of the brain, this frontal lobe of the brain, which is the filter. That is also, think about someone who has alcohol. The more alcohol you drink, the more you shut down that filter. People who have drink a lot of alcohol will say things they would never normally say in public. People with frontal temporal dementia will say things and do things that one would never do in public because that frontal lobe is not developed properly. It's just deteriorating over time from dementia. The reasons people get dementia are complex. We know some of them. We know that she suffered from addictions of cocaine and alcoholism. Both of those are an increased risk of dementia. Other things that can cause an increased risk of dementia include histories of depression, people who have poor diets, age, male sex, those are other things. And even though there are certain things that we can do to decrease our risk of dementia, for example, a Mediterranean style diet decreases your risk of dementia by those who adhere to it by as much as 53%. That's not zero. It still means people can still get it. It just means that we can reduce your risk of getting it. And it's, we are going to hear more and more about dementia as time goes on. Now, some people will say it's all the statins being out there. Statins do not increase your risk of dementia, they actually decrease your risk of dementia. And specifically, they will decrease something called vascular dementia, which is what my mother suffered from. My mother, like Wendy Williams, had a fierce brain. And it is so hard seeing someone with that brilliant brain, that great intelligence, slowly lose it. Just for a few things, they estimate that she has about 12 to 13 years left of life because that's what happens with that type of dementia. Vascular dementia, like my mother had, was about a five-year course. Alzheimer's, about a 12 to 14-year-old course. Why? What happens to the brain? The brain deteriorates so much that it actually loses its ability to do the executive functions involved in breathing, involved in heart rate, involved in all those things your body needs. And that's what ultimately people die from when they have dementia. So, horrible disease. We have six and a half million people now who are suffering from it. It's going to only continue unless we have medical breakthroughs. But what you can do to help decrease your risk of this, you can't decrease it to zero again, fruits, vegetables, Mediterranean style diet, exercise, talking, social communications, keep your brain active by learning new things and doing all that. That's the best you can do. And as soon as we have a medical breakthrough, I promise I will be on here immediately touting it. Until then, do the things that you can do. Eat well, live well, enjoy the life, use your brain. Thanks. If you like this, like, follow, share.